Okay, good morning everybody. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here, about 7 o'clock, getting an early start to beat the heat and the bumps. And uh, got a little adventure planned today. Going to go out and look at some of the fields that I've been researching for one of my projects. So welcome aboard. I'm Evan Anderman, a geologist, photographer, and pilot based in Denver, Colorado. Come with me as I discover new ways to look at the environment. Going east, six my case, thank you. Okay, power to 27 inches, propeller 2300 RPM. That says 68% power. Start my Richard Peak leaning, just keep leaning it back until it gives me the peak. Okay, just under 17 gallons per hour. Um, you can see on my map here, I have some things marked CREP, which is Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program, and then also EQIP, which is an Environmental Quality Incentives Program. These are programs by the U.S. Department of Agriculture to encourage farmers um, here in Colorado to um, stop using groundwater as a resource. Uh, in this area, this is largely the Republican River Basin, and we're doing it in Colorado because we're not sending enough water onto Kansas and Nebraska. So it's really not for conservation per se, but just to abide by our um, the, the compact that we have with the other states. So anyway, the flight plan shows that we have, um, oh, it's just over two hours. You know, by the time I wander around and take pictures and everything, I imagine it's going to be closer to three hours. So it's going to be a good uh, flight today, and um, hopefully we'll have less fun. Looking good, fairly smooth so far. I imagine by the end of the flight, it's going to be a little rougher. The route's going to take us right over a wind farm here that you can see on the, uh, the, on the map. And uh, hopefully that'll be some interesting photography. Oh, that sun is just in the right, the right wrong spot. Got my granola and actually dairy free yogurt, pepitas, pumpkin seeds, blueberries. Awesome. Good combo. And this is the life. Nothing better. This is the best place to have some breakfast. Wish I had a cup of coffee too. Then I'd be uh, all set. Coming up on the first location here. I'm not exactly sure what my strategy is. Um, we'll just have to see. Uh, the, you know, the other two that I visited the other day, uh, there wasn't anything to shoot. So, but I got the camera ready, ready to go. We're just kind of doing a recon here anyway. Who knows? Oh, it looks like it's this field right down here. A dump down there in a tire repository. Okay, well, uh, guess we'll head off to the next one. Which, uh, that was one of the, I'll call it EKIP. And we're heading up to a, a crep five minutes away. And circling around the next location, you can see that big field. They used to have four circles in there. You can actually see that. I might fly right over it and shoot straight down on it. Yeah, that's pretty subtle. But, you know, we'll see. Okay, off to the next one. Oh, got a whole bunch of fields over here. Oh, I can see one, yeah, that's definitely and two. Okay, these might be a little more interesting. Um, unfortunately, got some clouds building over here, so it's going to be shady. Uh, but we'll just, uh, as I said, it's a recon mission. I definitely come back to these two, looks like. This is a big operation here. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This guy's got eight circles here. And he's got the two over here that he doesn't pump anymore. Yeah, it's really flat light right now. 
But I like these. That other one over there is really colorful. Yeah, well, those clouds are moving. Maybe that one over there will get in the light. I like it with the, uh, the other circles behind it. Yeah, that was interesting. Oh, there's another one right over here. Oh yeah, I think I see which one it is over here. Because it's a different color. This is uh, from a different program. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna hit them all today or not. But nice little S curves I've been doing there. Go check out a couple more. Uh, they're still using this one circle here, but only a quarter of it. That must mean the yield went down. And this adjacent one is not used at all. Oh yeah, and then there's like four or five over there. Who knows what's happening on this one? It's like a little bit of everything. Nice patterns. Oh, I guess it's all sand. No wonder they decided to stop irrigating it. And then over here, we have a whole sort of complex. There's uh, five, six other ones. It look like they stopped using them. There's actually still the pivot irrigation on a couple of them, so maybe they're still used. And then these other ones seem to have uh, regrown pretty well. Looks like sagebrush on them. Nice little complex right here. I can get right in the middle of them. Looks like a stock tank on one of them, so they definitely still graze cattle. Yeah, that's pretty subtle. Where to next? Oh, there's one lone one out here. Yeah, they actually look pretty good. They seem to be uh, regrowing nicely. It, it, it's hard to judge because what do you compare it to? Everything's been messed up in some way or another. Well, it's a little bit of a hike to the next one. It's about uh, 28 minutes, it says. Coming up on some barns up here. Um, I can't tell if they're hogs or chickens. I'm thinking they might be chickens, actually. Interesting. We watched that movie, Super Size Me 2, about the chicken restaurant that Morgan Spurlock opened. That was um, quite something eye-opening. That's why I'm now a vegan. Partly that. All the work I've been doing on the Ogallala here, also. Zoom out here and show you the extents of the whole Ogallala aquifer. It, it covers eight states from South Dakota down to Texas and New Mexico. There's so many different issues amongst the whole thing. I'm just trying to concentrate on my little part of it right now. Probably head down the, the southern Ogallala aquifer seems to have more issues. You know, Kansas, Oklahoma, and West Texas. It's just crazy what's going on there. The amount of water that's being taken out to basically raise animals so we can eat them. And uh, in just poor condition, there's just so many negatives that I had this uh, moment of clarity a month or so ago where I decided that I would switch to a plant-based diet. But it's amazing uh, the water resources that we put in to raise too much protein that we don't really need and to keep it cheap. It's just the whole thing is kind of crazy. I think I see some more barns over here. Let's go check those out. Oh, there's a bunch over there too. Yikes. There seem to be a lot, uh, more and more popping up all the time. Yeah, these are probably chickens also. And I say that because uh, there's actually 16 barns and one waste pond. You know, it just seems like the pigs produce more waste. But it looks like they put this chicken farm in where there used to be a crop circle. Well, doesn't look like I'm going to make it up to my last couple of spots. Got a front here, and there's some cloudiness behind it. 
in front of it, I guess, would be where these clouds are. But since I'm a VFR pilot, I can't fly. Uh, can't fly over them. But let's see about going around them. And I don't think I want to go under them. There is uh, like 1,500 feet below them. Maybe a little less. A little more adventure than I want. Because if they drop down at all. What does that say? 10 miles? The first location that I wanted to go to. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to save that for another day. Lots of circles here. Yep, this is prime Ogallala country. I kind of feel like those clouds are chasing me. <laughs> You'll see as I circle around. Better skedaddle. I figured those clouds would be moving the other direction. Figured wrong. Centennial Tower Station Air 756 Mike Yankee 10 East with Quebec for a full stop. Station 756 Mike Yankee Centennial Tower Ident. Ident 6 Mike Yankee. Station Air 6 Mike Yankee flight to East Shore Cherry Creek Reservoir left base from way 17 left. East Shore Cherry Creek left base 17 left 6 Mike Yankee. Nice clear day here. Station 6 Black Yankee, traffic 12 o'clock in a mile northbound. I'm not sure of the type, might be a helicopter going to Buckley. Uh, traffic in sight, 6 Black Yankee. Station 6 Black Yankee, thank you. You're going to follow a Cirrus on a left face over the east shore of Cherokee Reservoir. Looking for that traffic, 6 Black Yankee. Station 6 Black Yankee, I'll have traffic in position prior to arrival. We'll continue your runway 17 left. Uh, permanent, I've that Cirrus in sight too, 6 Black Yankee. Beautiful day, look at this. Nice view of downtown. Station there, 6 Mike Yankee. You'll have traffic turning right face for the parallel runway at Skyhawk. <laughs> runway 17 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 17 left, looking for that traffic, 6 Mike Yankee. Oh, it would be good to land long, all right? Close to the Alpha 8. Oh, and there's my traffic. Ground point eight. Thanks for your help, six monkey. Centennial ground station air seven five six Mike Yankee Alpha eight for hotel please. Number seven five six Mike Yankee Centennial ground without delay. Cross Alpha use caution for an outbound archer. Crossing Alpha looking for that traffic six Mike Yankee. Thank you. Well, awesome flight. Saw lots of stuff. It was about three hour flight total. Um, saw lots of fields and gave me lots to think about. I hope it was a beautiful morning. Hope you guys like these uh, videos. Make sure to subscribe and to hit the like button and to tell all your friends and family to check things out. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for coming.